Are you learning cello through essential elements? Then this is the video for you. Today, I'll be covering numbers 72 through 74. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I give you tips and tools so that you can learn to play the cello. So today, we are going over rhythms of 16th notes and 8th notes. Now, if you had played the previous video, you would see that you've already been exposed to 16th notes and 8th notes. This is just a different rhythmic combination that you may not have seen before. Let's take a quick look at number 72 so you can see how rhythmically the 16th notes and 8th notes fit together. So if we were doing shadow bowing, it would be one and a two and, one and a two and, one and a two and a one rest, rest, right? So here, just keep in mind when I'm doing the eighth notes, I'm trying to use a little bit more bow than say if I was using 16th notes here. So that way it's also clear in my body and in my head that the eighth notes takes up a little bit more time. And now if you need a sort of mathematical uh, reasoning in it, remember two 16th notes equals one eighth note. Some people like to use words to help them remember the rhythm. Um, this is a rhythm that can be also found in the Suzuki book one books. Uh, and sometimes I like to call it run, pony, run, pony. So all the runs are the eighth notes, run, and then ponies are actually the little 16th notes, pony, run, pony, run, pony, run, pony. So there are many different words out there that I know different teachers use, but this is one that I use personally in some of my students' lessons. All right, let's go through number 73, which is blueberry pie. Now, blueberry pie is using the same rhythms in number 72, but here we're actually putting pitches to it. So now this is kind of part of a D major scale. So let's actually warm up first with playing through the D major two octave scales. Now I know this doesn't use any extensions, but hopefully you've watched previous videos and given the earlier numbers a try when you were learning extension fours. So let's go ahead and play the two octave D major scale first. If you look at number 73, you see the repeat at the end. So we're gonna go through this song twice. So I'll play through once by myself and then I'll play through once with Essential Elements Interactive. Here we go. So let's talk about number 74, Technique Tracks. Now here, we are still using the same rhythm of eighth notes and 16th notes combined with just regular eighth notes. You're also going to notice that now there are dots on top of these eighth notes. And remember, dots means staccato or making the note a little bit shorter, but it's not so short that it's just kind of like a choke out of the note. You do still want to hear the pitch. It's just a little bit shorter than say the eighth notes that you have played in number 73. Essentially, you just want to hear a space between the notes of the 8th notes and the 16th notes. Alright, so I'll play through ones by myself here, and then I'll play through ones with the accompaniment provided by Essential Elements Interactive. Here we go. <laughs> All right, 
right, so there was numbers 72 through 74, and here we were talking about the new rhythm where there was eighth notes and sixteenth notes and how they are combined into a new rhythm and certain words to help you learn to master this rhythm, as well as a few exercises here. If there are any questions I haven't addressed in this video, be sure to leave them in the comments below. And if you're enjoying these Essential Elements tutorials, be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other Chellemoji videos. Check out the videos on your screen right now for some other Essential Elements tutorials, as well as some other videos that can help you on your cello journey. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!